Hello my lovelies, welcome to my channel and thank you so much for watching this video. If you find it helpful, please like and subscribe to my channel. You can also click on the notification bell if you'd like to be notified when I next upload a video. Many thanks and I hope you enjoy this video. Hi everyone, um, in this video I am going to show you how to do glitter four different ways. Um, so we're going to do a um, nail sugar or raw glitter nail, we're going to do um, glitter with top coat over it, we're going to do a glitter gradient and we're going to do oh, a beautiful holographic nail, who doesn't love holographic glitter? Um, so they're all different techniques, I'm going to show each of them to you um, and yeah, hopefully you give them a try and decide which one you like best, they all look quite different, um, yeah, so it gives a completely different look. Anyway, so what we used today, I used this um, Blue Sky N23 um, that one I used on the gradient, the glitter gradient now. Um, I used my Blue Sky Hard Gel. I have one specifically for glitter and I explain in the video why that is. Highly recommend that you have at least a top coat or at least a base coat or something that you dedicate just to glitter. Um, I've got my non-white top coat. The glitters, oh sorry, and I've also got this one, um, Purple Sky from Madame Glam. Um, they're the gel polishes I used. You will also need a brush. Again, this needs to be dedicated purely to glitter because you're never going to get the loose glitter out of this brush. Um, and ideally you want something that's a little bit fluffy. Okay, you want something that's um, firm but fluffy. I also used um, the scooper end of my cuticle stick, my cuticle pusher. And the glitters I used, this one, actually they're both off eBay, honestly couldn't tell you who I bought them from because I've had them both for years. Um, that's a bit of an iridescent glitter and the other one I used, this holographic glitter from, oh heaven, look at that. Oh, it's just amazing. <gasps> Sorry, does anyone else have like holographic envy? I just love holographic glitter, it's absolutely stunning. Um, and a nail brush as well to scrape off some excess glitter. Um, I think that's everything I used. Oh, and just a dish to catch um, some excess glitter as you're sprinkling over your nail sugar nail. I think that's everything. So I hope this video helps you. Um, I hope you find it interesting. I hope you're well. Um, let's get into it. So the first technique we're going to do is nail sugar um, or raw glitter, uh, same thing. Um, and that is basically, um, for those of you that watched my last video, um, you saw me do that on my little fingers. Okay, so this is when you put um, the glitter directly into the top coat before it's cured. And so you don't top coat it and you end up with this um, really lovely sort of, it's a shimmer, it's obviously very glittery. Um, I know for some people that like their nails to be really smooth, um, this does not give you that really smooth feel that obviously a top coat does. Um, but it's not rough either at the same time, like it's not scratchy at all. Um, I can feel that. It just feels like a really, really fine grit sandpaper is kind of what it feels like, you know, a bit like sand at the beach. But it's not rough, it doesn't scratch you, it's not catchy at all. Um, and it's nice, it gives you a little bit of texture. Um, so what I like to do, um, this is optional, but I do like to put um, a layer of colour that matches my glitter underneath. Um, this achieves two things for me. One, I think it gives you um, glitter a bit more bit more body um, you know it gives it makes it a bit more opaque and makes it a bit of a richer color um, and the other thing that it does is it just means that you know if you hopefully you don't but you know if you do catch your nail in a drawer or something um, and you do scrape a little bit of that glitter off then it's not going to be obvious because you've got the same color polish underneath um, but you know it does wear incredibly well I mean I did this many this is uh, were we five days old at this point um, and yeah, I haven't lost, I haven't lost any of my glitter. So it is quite um, robust, but I do like to have that layer of color underneath. Um, and I also kept the free edge as well. So you end up with that color on the tip of your nail. Okay, but it is entirely optional. Um, and I only do one coat, even though that's clearly not opaque, doesn't need to be um, because of what we're doing. So what we do, you need to use a no white top coat for this. Sorry, I thought I had it in my grasp and I didn't. Um, you need your no white top coat because you're not, you're, you're curing the um, glitter into this top coat and you're not going to go back and you know, remove tacky layers and things. So you want no white top coat. You also want, if you can, a reasonably thick 
um, top coat. You need a bit of um, something for your glitter to grip onto. So you want to use a thicker top coat if you have one. If you don't, don't worry, just use a thinner one. Um, or use what you've got, but just float your top coat over your nail so it gives you a little bit of extra, extra oomph to your top coat. You want a good coverage of your top coat on this, okay? Um, also apply your top coat very, very carefully because wherever your top coat is, is where your glitter is going to be. And where your top coat isn't is where your glitter is not going to be. Okay, so if you miss a gap on your nail with your top coat, you're going to have a gap in your glitter, in other words. Okay, so be careful with your top coat. Do layer it up, um, have a nice thick layer. Cap your free edge because you've um, put a bit of colour on your free edge. Um, and then come in with your glitter. Don't cure it out of habit. I have done that before. <laughs> so easy to do. Okay, so come in with your glitter. Um, have a little container or something to catch your excess glitter. And just all I literally all I do is I tip my glitter over my tip, over my nail. Okay. And you want to get every little surface of this. Don't worry if you get a bit carried away because you're catching your extra glitter anyway. None of it's going to get wasted. Um, so you can capture it and reuse it. And you can put a thick layer. Because what you're going to do now is tip your nail upside down and shake off that excess. Now, whatever your cure time is for your top coat, you want to double it. Okay, because now you've got a nice layer of glitter over the top of your top coat, which your lamp is going to struggle to penetrate. So you want to double your cure time. Um, so if it's 30 seconds, put it in for 60. Um, if it's 60 seconds, put it in for two minutes. And then we'll be back. Okay, so that's been in for 60 seconds. Now what I'm going to do is take a nail brush. Um, this is quite a firm nail brush, and I'm going to literally brush off the excess. And this is where you'd get, you know, your excess, you know, if you get glitter over around your cuticle area and your side walls, it really doesn't matter because as long as you don't have top coat there, your glitter is going to brush off straight away. Okay. And then I go in with another cure for that. So I'd put that back in for another 60 seconds just to make sure um, you get a really good cure. Okay. So that's in the lamp. The second um, type we're going to do today is again, I'm going to put a layer of my color underneath. Okay, and we're going to cure that in the lamp. Okay, now I'm going to put a second coat of color, um, not because you need to, but because um, I cured my color when I wasn't meant to. I meant to leave that uncured. So you see how easy it happens, as I was saying. Um, before with the top coat it does happen very easily but you know that's the thing with nails you're nothing but flexible it's really not a big deal so you just go in don't cure it this time okay um sorry i thought i had my ipa here i've just done a, another video and made a bit of a mess of my workstation and i thought while it was already a mess i'd do another video but as a result i didn't set myself up properly which is not very smart okay so we've cleaned up around the sides. So what we're going to do is basically the same thing, but I'm probably going to be a little bit less zealous with it this time um, because we don't want super chunky layers of glitter. So you want to do is take a scooper of some sort. I'm just going to use um, the other end of my cuticle pusher. Okay, and I'm just going to tip my glitter over that and I'm not doing it quite to the same extent as what I was before and the glitter that's falling into your pot there's absolutely no issues with reusing that um, because as you can see it's just falling to the side of the nail it's not touching the skin it's not touching the nail so there's going to be no hygiene issues um, with that okay so effectively at this point um, we're doing the same thing before but we're doing it with um, color rather than a top coat because we are going to top coat this nail okay i'm going to brush off my excess and i'm going to pop that in the lamp um, again because we've got glitter over the top i'm going to put that in for double cure okay so we've double cured that again i'm going to come in and i'm going to brush off my excess now this is where you really want to have um a top coat or some kind of clear gel that you dedicate for glitter um, no matter how much you think you'll be able to get the glitter out of your brush, you can't. If you're using a normal top coat, it's trust me, I've tried it, you can't. There's always going to be a few little bits of glitter that get stuck in there. And then the next time you're doing, you know, your money with, you know, lovely cream coloured, 
um, creamy gel polishes, you end up with a few bits of glitter in there and it's really not what you want. So allocate yourself something that is specifically for glitter, could be top coat, anything that's basically um, a clear polish. Now this one's running out, so that's why I'm sort of tipping it a bit violently on the side. Um, but I, I love glitter, I use it quite a lot. So um, yeah, the, the glitter polishes don't last that well that long for me because I just, I use them a lot. Um, and you want to put quite a decent, you know, a good layer on this. Um, you want it to be reasonably thick um, because you're trying to smooth. This nail will end up being smooth, believe it or not, um, with all this glitter on it. It's going to have a lovely smooth feel to it. Um, you're not even going to know that that has loose glitter on it, as opposed to this one. So this was the first one that we did, which is our nail sugar. Um, and you can see how sparkly... Um, this turns out I just I love the nail sugar I think it's it's really really pretty because um, it gives it that lovely spark or that lovely shimmer but it's got some texture and some body to it um, whereas the other three nails that we're going to do today are going to end up being very very smooth um, and they're just going to feel like a, um, a nail with lovely smooth top coat on them so it just depends um, how much um, you like the texture or not on your nails Okay, so when your nail comes out of the lamp, just have a little look at it. Um, have a look on the side. See how much glitter you've got standing up or not. I actually don't have very much on here at all. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to um, clean my nail with some isopropyl alcohol, get rid of that sticky layer so that I can actually have a feel of my nail. If I did seem to have a lot of um, polishes that were standing up, then I would have just put another layer of that clear polish. But I actually, I can't feel anything. Um, there's nothing sharp standing up. So you've got two options at this point. You can lightly buff this nail if you want to. Um, it's no issues to do that if you're worried about it being too thick or something like that. Alternatively, you can just come in with your top coat at this point. Now you can use your glitter top coat, or of course you can use your normal glitter to, um, <laughs> top coat at this point because you've cleaned off the nail and you've got no glitter left on it. Okay, so I'm gonna come in with my no wipe top coat and hopefully you can see on the side that that's perfectly smooth. I don't have any glitter polishes standing up at all. Any bits of loose glitter standing up. Okay, cap my free edge and in with the lamp for the cure time for your top coat. Okay, so this has now come out of my lamp. Um, yeah, it's lovely and smooth. It's got that layer of top coat. If you are feeling a little bit of roughness, if you've used a no wipe top coat, then just lightly buff it um, so you can put a second layer over the top. But I'm happy with that. It's fine. That's, that's nice and smooth. Um, so this is the difference between them. Okay, so your raw glitter or your nail sugar, no top coat over the top. Um, this one has got your top coat. Okay, so completely looks quite different. I'm hoping the camera's um, picking it up because in person it's, yeah, it's, it's quite different. Both are beautiful. I love both, um, but it does give you quite a different look. So for the third one that we're going to do, we're actually going to do a gradient a glitter gradient for this. So I personally wouldn't use the same color um, gel polish as my glitter. I would use something um, a bit, yeah, a, a bit paler. Um, as you can see, I've got a bit of my color pops a bit grotty, so I'm just gonna give that a clean. Should have done that before, but this is glitter for you. It literally, it gets into everything. Okay, so we'll try that again. So um, I'm just going to use a pale, sort of a paler purple as my gel polish because my glitter is quite a bit darker. Um, and I'll use that for my gradient. So um, glitter gradients, again, a bit like our second one, they end up being very smooth. Um, there's no rough texture to them at all by the time you've finished. Okay, I'm going to pop that in the lamp. Okay, so I did a second coat of that and cured it while I was off camera. So now we have our two layers of colour um, and we have our sticky layer on our colour coat. So you need that sticky layer, do not remove that. Okay, so then what we do, um, obviously it depends if you're doing a glitter gradient from um, your cuticle or your free edge. I'm just going to do it from the free edge today. Um, and you're just going to come in and you're going to pop your glitter the base of your nail and you go up as high or as low as you want to um, 
So, you know, if you're going to do a sort of a French look glitter, then that's pretty much where you would stop at this point. Um, but what we're going to do is a glitter fade. So what you want to do is basically wipe off um, the glitter that is on your brush or the excess glitter that's on your brush and work your way up the nail as high or as um, not as you want. So it's all personal preference. Um, I quite like a few straggly bits heading up towards the top. Um, but, you know, it's it's all personal preference. So obviously you've got your... Um, chunky bit at the bottom and then your glitter fade towards the top is what we've done in this instance now if you wanted more glitter at the base for instance what you can do is you can go in with your clear um your clear polish that you um dedicate to glitter um and go over that and then put another layer of the glitter over the top okay um and then so I'm not going to do an extra layer of glitter um, because I'm quite happy, but you can see there how um, the glitter just stays in your brush and that would be your top coat if this was all in your top coat. Okay, so that's what I'm saying. It's really important that you have um, a separate, separate pot of either top coat or some sort of clear um, that you can use over the top of your glitter so you don't contaminate your main top coat. Okay, and in the lamp um, for 30 seconds. Okay, so here we go. Here's our glitter gradient. Now I'm going to go in with my top coat. And again, you can go in with your normal top coat at this point because you've covered up your glitter with your, um, your clear polish that you used. So just on that, um, as you saw, we used um, the tacky layer of our colour to stick that glitter into. Now, if you're using a colour that doesn't have a tacky layer, which some don't, um, then that's fine. You could just do a layer of um, a top coat that's got a tacky layer or a base coat or something. Any of those is fine. Just something that's going to cure with a top coat that your um, glitter can stick into. Okay, so there is our glitter gradient. So now we have the first three that we have done. So we've got our um, nail sugar, we have our top coated glitter, and we have a glitter gradient. The last one that we're going to do, we're actually going to use a different type of glitter for. We are going to use a holographic glitter for this. So I'm going to try and clear my brush off a little bit. Um, now this, I have to say, is probably um, my favourite of the glitters but it is also the trickiest so your nail sugar is by far your easiest um, and this is probably the one that takes a little bit more effort um, to do and has more potential to go a bit wrong and a bit tricky but you know it's all good fun and you know we don't progress unless we do different things so for this one um, same as the first ones you want a base coat which is basically the same color as the glitter that you are going to be using okay um, and again, for this, you also want a color that has a tacky layer um, attached with it because you are going, we're going to be putting this glitter into this tacky layer. Okay, so again, if your color doesn't have a tacky layer, don't worry, just put a um, top coat that does cure with a sticky layer or a base coat or something that's going to cure with a tacky layer that we can rub your glitter into. Okay, now as with um, the first two that I did, I'm only going to put one layer of that polish because um, this glitter is amazing. I just, I love this glitter. You know I love purple um, and I adore anything holographic. So to me, this is just like heaven in glitter. Right, so with the holographic polishes, the trick to it is to burnish in your glitter. So pick up your brush like we did with the other one dip it and then always just tip it back into your brush into your pot of glitter okay you don't want to damage or ideally you don't want to damage the tacky layer on your gel polish okay so just do one for one or equally you know you could do your tapping thing again put it on the back of your um, cuticle pusher and tap it in okay now that looks fantastic right oh, just wait okay so what you want to do is lightly, and you want a light touch for this, 
is burnish that in. And can you see the amazing hollow that this gives? So it's kind of, you're not putting too much pressure on, but at the same time, you need to have enough pressure to flatten those glitters. That's what's going to give this, um, this glitter, this amazing finish, is the fact that you're flattening all of those glitters down. Okay, so you need to have a little bit of pressure, but you don't want too much pressure because then you will remove the glitter from the tacky layer. So it's a bit tricky. That's also why the, um, there's a great benefit in having the same colored gel polish underneath. Okay, so if that does happen, um, it's not going to be such an issue. So again, come in with your trusty clear and you really want to try and float this on, okay? If you drag this down your nail, you are going to dislodge some of that glitter. Um, and I'm going to struggle with this because my bottle is almost empty. Um, but there you can see I've got a bit of a dollop on. So you want to do this very, very lightly. Do not drag this down the nail, okay? Because you will lose some. And you know, to be fair, if, if you do, it's not the end of the world because all you need to do um, is when you cure this, put another layer of the glitter over the top. And you can do that anyway. Like if you want, you know, even more depth to the color, um, then by all means do a second layer of that glitter. But look at that, it's just amazing. Oh, I love it. Love it, love it, love it. All right, so we're done. We're out of the lamp. Oh my God, look at that, that's just amazing. And then we're going to put some top coat on it. And of course, that's just gonna make it look even more utterly amazing. So if you wanted to, as I said, you could put a second layer of glitter um, if you wanted to. I don't really think that that needed it. Um, and it often doesn't, to be honest, if you use the color underneath, um, underneath the glitter, it often doesn't because it automatically gives it that depth. Um, and if you're gentle about how you burnish your glitter, so as I said, you want a little bit of pressure, but you don't want to be gouging into it, um, then that's fine. But if you do, that is an option for you. Just put your clear again, put another layer of glitter, um, basically rinse and repeat. Um, and that's just going to go for a 60 second cure and we'll be back. Oh my goodness me, like seriously, could I have made any more mess here? I am literally, I have glitter all over me. You can't do glitter neatly. Anyway, so this is our results. These are the four that we've done today. So this is your um, raw glitter or nail sugar. Okay, so that one was layer of color, top coat, don't cure it, tip your glitter over the top. This one is basically the same, but it has um, a layer of top coat over the top. So it's that, but with a smooth finish. Um, and as you can see, it makes the glitter look quite different as well. It gives it a different sort of look and probably makes the color look a little bit stronger. This one is our glitter gradient. Um, and this is our holographic nail of utter divineness. Um, sorry, I just, I love holographic glitter. I could just look at it for hours. Um, so they're the different ways that um, I commonly do glitter. Um, and basically it's going from easiest to trickiest. Anyway, I hope that helps. I hope everyone is well and I'll catch you next time. Bye.